is Ashley and I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Gretna Public Library. In this video, you'll learn how to make a snowman using books. To make your snowman, you're going to need to have a template. Using a blank piece of paper, you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to go ahead and crease it. This will give you an idea of how big your snowman is going to look. And then taking your book, you're going to put it inside here. And then you're going to see where the top ends. This will kind of give you an idea in terms of what the length will be for your template for your book. So as you can see, I have a little bit of overlay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crease it. And then that will give me a guide on where the top is. To draw your snowman template, you can do it any way that you like. You can do them with a hat or you can do them with the three circles. Just make sure which side you're doing it. So you're going to be drawing on the crease side. All right, once you have it cut out, you're gonna go ahead and open it. This is about the size of what it's going to look like once everything is cut and done for the project. But if you wanna have a better idea of how it's gonna look on your book, you're gonna take your template, put it in the book, and then you'll get a good comparison. Now to make the actual template itself that you'll be using when you are cutting out the pages, you're going to need either thin cardboard like you would use from a cereal box or you can use heavy cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start tracing. Like so. And then once you have that, then you will cut it out. And I've already got one done already. So this is the one that I will be using to show you how you will cut out your pages out of your book. To cut out your snowman design, you will need to put your template as close to the book spine as possible. Like so. Once you have it in place, you will then take your X-Acto knife and begin to cut alongside the edges. Before you do that, if you have a cutting mat, this is when you will start to use it. I put mine under every five pages or so. And then you just set it under there and then you'll just cut until you reach the end of the cutting mat and then keep doing it every five pages or whatever pages that you prefer. You don't have to use a cutting mat if you don't want to, it's just a matter of preference. And then I will go ahead and I will start cutting some pages to kind of show you what I mean. As you can see, the snowman is starting to take shape. You will continue to cut out your snowman until you reach the end of the book. Once you're done cutting out your design, you have several choices of what you can do with your snowman. You can leave in the book, like so, or you can remove it from the book for a standing up snowman. If you want to leave it in the book, you can get a more fluffier appearance to make it look fuller, by going through the pages individually 
just kind of st stretching them out here like so and I'll kind of help give it that bigger fuller appearance and you'll just do that throughout every page and you'll get something similar to this if you want to cut out your snowman for a stand-up version you're going to need to cut it out of the spine and this will work for both either a hard cover or a paperback cover so I'm gonna go ahead Okay, smooth it around here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pages, and then I'm going to take my X Acto knife, and I'm going to run it on that seam here, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and spin it around, and I'm going to do the same thing like I did on the other side. And then this is how it's going to look once it comes out. You have two options for a cutout stand-up snowman, a full 3D version and a flatback version. The flatback version can be done two different ways depending on if you are using a paperback or a hardcover. The hardcover can be bent without using hot glue, so kind of like this. or it can be glued together by adding hot glue to the spine and holding it shut until the glue hold takes hold. Paperbacks may be more difficult as the spine may break in half when bending. Kind of like my little example here. To get the flat back look, you can hot glue the two spines directly here, side by side, and then hold in place until the glue sets. To make the full 3D version for both hardcover and paperback, you'll need to hot glue the spine together and then hold the spine in place until the hot glue sets. And then once that's done, you'll need to hot glue the front and the back pages together and have them match up here. And then you will hold those together once the hot glue is on them, and then you'll hold them until it sets. As hot glue is hot, you can take several pages from, other, from either side and then hold those together to make it less hot on your hands. Once the hot glue has set, then you will fan out your pages by bending them individually like this until it is nice and fluffy. Once you have your snowman book art the way you like it, you can go ahead and customize it. For the one I have here, I used a ribbon and then I tied it in the back for the hat and then I tied it on the side for a scarf look. You can also paint these and you can also add buttons for the eyes and then on the body and you can even get some twigs and then put them on the sides with hot glue for some arms. And you don't have to customize it if you don't want to. That is all up to you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, happy crafting.